80s action movie. Yeah, I'm really saying. excited about the movies today. Firstly, The Expendables. Um, I'm a huge fan of 80s action movies, All so right. watching this was just really nostalgic. It was a lot of fun, and it warmed my heart. I know that's a really odd way yeah. of saying something like that, but it really did. Just seeing these guys together was great. Now, in the movie, um, Sylvester Stallone leads this team of mercenaries mm -hmm. once again, and Jean-Claude Van Damme, also from the 80s, um, is this petroleum dealer, and it's all, and they, of course, they have to take him out. And, and it's also partly a revenge story because he takes out one of the Expendables, so they have to, you know, get him back. And this movie succeeds, and it's much better than the original for two big reasons. Firstly, it's very tongue-in-cheek. Right, it almost knows, makes fun of itself. It does. It's very self-deprecating, and it's funny. It really is. And um, Chuck Norris mm -hmm. makes Chuck Norris jokes. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger says, I'm back. It's great. And there's a new director here this time uh -huh. around, Simon West. And he's very good. He has an eye for action scenes as well as... Um, oh, nice face. There's some character development here. Right. It's really good. I had a great time. Everyone in the theater was laughing. I really enjoyed it. So if you didn't like the first one, you would actually you like... Might, because the first one was really serious. It did. It's what all the fun it did. Because mm -hmm. 80s movies, you know, I love Terminator, Die Hard, um, Commando, Rambo. They're, they're sort of goofy. They're sort of cheeky, you know? I mean, not all of them, of course, but when you look at all 80s action movies, you know. So you give this... I give it four out of five stars. All right. Highly recommended by Connor. Oh awesome. God, and then you saw well. a totally different I movie. saw Paranorman, mm -hmm. which is about this kid who sees ghosts, and he's sort of misunderstood by his family and his um, classmates, and he accidentally awakens the dead, and of course he and his friends must save the day uh -huh. and stop everything. And this movie is just really fascinating to watch, because it's stop motion animation, and that means they have to take everything and film it frame by frame. And when you watch a movie like this, everything is made by hand. So it's really fascinating to just watch the artistry and the passion and dedication that goes into a movie like this and how much effort it takes to make them. So when you appreciate something like that, you, you like that for that reason. And I really enjoyed it. Um, the characters are great. Uh -huh. Leslie Mann is voicing um, John Goodman, sure, Anna Kendrick. Um, one thing this movie suffers from is that it's sort of one of those, the character has to achieve something greater than themselves mm -hmm. that we've seen a lot of times in animated movies like this, like A Bug's Life and How to Train Your Dragon. But the animation and the characters are just so um, above par that you can't. So what age group would something like that be for? I would say middle school and up because there's, it's a bit scary mm -hmm. I, for little, little kids. Um, there are some references to adult things, but for middle school and up, I say it's really fun. It's really good. And you give it? I give it three and a half out of five. Now, you are leaving us soon, and you're going to be going to college. Will you yes. still be doing reviews online? Oh, my God. I, I wrote a list of dates. So, <laughs> yeah, I come back around November, late November. Um, and, yeah, I'm hoping to... There's a lot of good stuff coming out in December. Les Mis, The Hobbit. All right. Um, so, yeah. We'll have to keep up with you. Nice Thank job. you. I had a really good Thank time. Thank you so much. Us, too. The time right now is 9.50, 71 degrees on TV. You didn't say anything about me. Makeovers. Yes, it is. That good job. Good. And I love my sister, Alex. She's so cool.